Look at all the need around our community. We have so many great nonprofit organizations making an impact. We have such great people in our community that want to serve and help others, but there's still, there's a void there. So we started thinking, how can we how can we bring those two together? That's when uh, Volunteer Orange World started. And we started with a website and we started uh, gathering information. Today we have over 70 uh, different nonprofits and other ways that people can volunteer. We started getting into creating PSAs uh, for nonprofits. We, we, we partnered with them saying, how can we help you get the word out about your volunteering needs, about your fundraising needs? We wanted to offer some some services to nonprofits to uh, to help them and and uh, maybe take their mind off on off certain things, but just to try to get people inspired to to volunteer. We began to like start to connect these people with with nonprofits, and as we were trying to figure out how can we be better at inspiring people and educating people to to volunteer, we we began to try to think of different things that we could do, and so we came up with a. A, a television show. Project Volunteer TV. It started locally here in Owensboro on Time Warner. A couple years later, it grew to uh, to be on KET Kentucky, around the state of Kentucky. And then about a year after that, we were so blessed and lucky enough to get on NRB TV, uh, which is nationwide. And so now we're on about five different networks that, that goes to reaches over 50 million households, so we are truly blessed. Project Volunteer is all about walking in the shoes of a volunteer. And let me tell you what, it's a lot of fun, even with Randy. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, but I have met so many amazing people and so many volunteer opportunities that I never knew existed. Dreamwriters had the benefit of doing a two episode TV show, which was really fun for all of our volunteers that were involved and they were very proud of all that. But also getting the word out about equine assisted services and what we do at Dreamwriters and volunteering in general. Even though you may not work, want to work with horses, you might want to work with any of the other nonprofit organizations and the benefits of volunteering to the person who volunteers as well as those that you help. We figured out years ago that people kind of don't, sometimes they don't volunteer because they don't know what they're getting into, they don't know what to expect, they don't know what the commitment's going to be. So we educate them and inspire them. So we go into these nonprofits and say, okay, tell us what you do, who you are and what you do. And once we find out, we say, okay, put us to work. We want to be volunteers, me and my co-host, Teresa Rowe. We want to be volunteers for a day. So that's what we do. We walk in the shoes of a volunteer for a day, and it shows people exactly what to expect, how much time it's going to take. They learn all about the organization. They see real volunteers uh, training us. They hear unbelievable testimonies from these volunteers and the recipients, these people that's getting help. So you're gonna hear some really, really cool stories if you watch some of Project Volunteer. I think one of the things that has impressed me about Volunteer Owensboro is being able to communicate um, in a creative way and with excellence to the community, both uh, right here in Owensboro, Davis County, but even beyond that too, with, with PSAs, with club volunteer, with, the television show, and with some uh, some collaboration, even with with us, with some live music events here at the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame Museum, I think what that does is that really that really communicates to people both locally and far beyond what Volunteer Owensboro is all about, but more importantly, how they can engage, whether they're interested in volunteering or if they're a nonprofit organization, because you really have to reach that audience with what is your message? You want to make a difference, but how do people know about it? And so I think Volunteer Owensboro has done a really good job of getting that message out and doing it in a creative way with excellence. That's important, I think. So Volunteer Owensboro is truly the driving force behind our senior service project. They are um, the ones that coordinate all of it. Um, they find the nonprofits. They help me place close to 500 students all in one day. And Volunteer Owensboro is really good at coordinating that for me. When you support Volunteer Owensboro, you're supporting 40, 50 different nonprofits. 
You see, we don't charge any of the nonprofits not a penny for any of the services we provide. We don't charge our community anything to connect them, these groups to volunteer. All, everything that we do is free of charge because we are so compassionate about volunteering and people finding their place. So when you support us, you're supporting many, many different organizations and people in our community.